After that explosive season four finale, we can't wait for the fifth season of Selling Sunset to premiere on Netflix. Weird though, but like exciting, but like so rough. I'm not getting into that. When it's coming. To start, yes, Selling Sunset has been picked up for a fifth season. Netflix knows a hit when they see it, so that's not surprising or anything. I'm cool, I'm calm. <laughs> we already knew this was coming way back in March, when Netflix announced season four and five coming in March of 2021. The show filmed both seasons back to back, since cast members have shared sneak peek pics and outfit pics for the upcoming season. In November 2021, Chriselle Stouse even confirmed in an Instagram comment that they had just wrapped filming of season five. Filming two seasons is a pretty common practice for the show. Seasons two and three were also filmed concurrently. There won't be such a long wait between seasons four and five like there was between three and four, Chriselle noted in an interview with Elle. There's no release date yet, unfortunately, but if we had to guess, it should be coming out within the first half of 2022. The cast then took to Instagram to celebrate the beginning of production on season four in May of the same year. And it looks like season five may have also begun filming around the same time. The real estate agents each shared a number of pictures from set, with Mary Fitzgerald posting a pic alongside her fellow agents with the caption, We're back, baby! Selling Sunset season four and five coming to you so, so soon. Really? Maybe it's all the O's she added to soon, but Mary's caption really seems to suggest to us that series four and five were shot back to back, so we can expect the seasons to follow on closely from one another. Chriselle and Jason. So what drama will be covered during the show? Well, you would have an idea if you watched the surprise teaser for season five that was shown at the end of season four. The clip, which starts with some stunning shots of Greece, is all about the office's response to Chriselle and Jason Oppenheim's relationship reveal. The couple went public in an Instagram post on that same group trip to Greece, and it will be a huge part of the new season. If you watched season four, you might be curious as to why their juicy relationship was left completely off camera. I just know anything can happen, and sometimes it can come from an unexpected person. Especially when you find out that they became official around the same time the cameras were filming season four. Like, come on, you guys post each other all the time on your Instagram anyway. But as it turns out, they had a valid reason. At the time, they didn't want to add a lot of pressure and opinions and publicity to such a budding thing. Jason spoke to Us Weekly and explained, I think that we were both more comfortable with that approach, and I liked that. I followed her lead on things, and I respected her decision making on that. I think that that's the right approach for everyone. Chriselle also revealed why she kept their romance private for so long. You don't want to share with everybody and get all their opinions before you really know what it is, she said during an appearance on E! News' Daily Pop in August 2021. We were really, really private and secretive for as long as we could be, until we realized the walls were closing in. People were getting a little savvy to it. We made it to a point where we were really happy to share it because we knew exactly what it was, so it's all good. They actually kept it private way longer than it may seem and only told close friends, although all of their castmates were super supportive when they found out anyway. The trailer makes a point to show Chrishell and Jason packing on the PDA during dinner, so we'll be seeing a lot of them this time around. I can't even possibly tell you how amazing that feels. Drama with Christine. What else did we see in the teaser? The cast gossiping in the office, a conversation between Mary and Chriselle, and Chriselle telling someone, we're not criminals, we're not doing anything wrong. You know, we're not criminals, we're not doing anything wrong. Hmm. We have to ask, is Christine going to be there? Fans were speculating that maybe she was not going to participate in the show after they noticed she was left out of certain outings. Tensions seemed to be high after that explosive season four finale, where she was caught in a civil war between the Oppenheim group. Christine does have allies, but she's also known for being consistently fake and a liar. And I'm over it. Which hasn't done wonders for her reputation. We left off on season four with no peace reconciliations being made, and Christine basically the odd one out in the group. Her consistent drama and lack of professionalism can't be good for business. And plus, she has a wealthy husband and a new baby to be concerned with. So is she leaving the show? I'll, I'll, I'll. I'll think about it. Christine took to social media to set the record straight about her participation in the show. I'm so tired of addressing this. I'm in every single episode of season four and five of Selling Sunset. The girls leave me out of photos. I have real work to do besides sit on my phone and prove 24 seven that I'm filming a TV show. Y'all going to see me, she tweeted in October 2021. I am the OG queen. So when I get back, 
take a little seat because no one puts baby in the corner. Okay, phew, more drama. There will probably also be more to the story added between Christine and newcomer Emma Hernan, as well as the lead up to Heather Ray Young's wedding to HGTV star Tarek El Moussa, although the wedding itself won't be included. Newcomers returning. Will the show's newbies be coming back for a round two? Yes, and they are both likely to be returning, considering they're both featured in photos with the rest of the cast. Emma, whose gentrified vegan empanada company recently went viral on TikTok, the company couldn't be going any better, was also spotted in the season five sneak peek. Chriselle also shared an Instagram snap with the businesswoman in October of 2021, adding the caption, look from season five of hashtag selling sunset. However, Vanessa is going to be playing a much smaller role, unfortunately. She had to sit out half of the forthcoming fifth season after testing positive for COVID. Out of 11 weeks of filming, I was sick for five. The former telenovela star told Page Six in December of 2021, I got COVID in August and we started filming right in that moment, so obviously they couldn't wait for me. It wasn't just COVID, it was long COVID, so the symptoms lasted a while. She suffered inflammatory symptoms in her brain, which resulted in bad bouts of dizziness on set. Even when she thought she had recovered, she would periodically feel like she had to pass out whenever she would have to stand for too long. That understandably makes filming a reality show pretty difficult. Aw, we feel so bad for her. It must be awful to miss out on all the juicy action. Old cast booted? Yes, Maya has confirmed that she's coming back, but her role might be much smaller than next time around. Maya has yet to share an official decision on the matter, but she noted that it wasn't easy to fly back and forth from Miami to LA while pregnant and in the middle of a pandemic for filming the latest seasons. In reality, the show has been successful and I'm very happy and thankful to be a part of it, Maya shared with Distractify. I squeezed in five seasons somehow, but flying back and forth, especially now with a third kid coming, it's going to be extremely tough. She might make a few cameos here and there, but with her kids, making regular appearances on a hit reality TV show is no joke. She would 100% appear in a Miami-based Selling Sunset, though, so it's nothing against the franchise. She's just busy. But hey, I'm not going to complain. There's also a sadder update to Maya's story. In December of 2021, she revealed that she had a stillbirth at 38 weeks. She wrote on Instagram, Yesterday was the hardest day of my life. I always heard of it, but never imagined I'll be part of the statistics. Instead of delivering a baby, I get to go home with a memory box. I do not wish this on anyone. What was a regular weekly checkup turned into a nightmare that I never imagined would happen to me, she continues. Given I share my pregnancies in the show, I knew I'll have to post about this and avoid the when is your due date question. You will always be in our heart, baby Mason. The heartbreaking news is probably what she needs to be focusing on now anyway, and maybe Selling Sunset will have to go on the back burner. We wish her all the best as she mourns the loss of her son. Are you excited for season five? Which real estate agent are you most pumped to see return? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe to The Things Reality to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in reality TV news.